So, uh, we're very lucky this evening to have Dr. Sexton from uh, the University of Otago uh, to talk to us about uh, research. So, this is Mark Thompson uh, for Dynaspeak, uh, and uh, the Level 4 research uh, focus. So, um, Dr. Sexton, what is research? Research is someone's attempt to answer a question. Okay. And the question, does it have to be deep, meaningful? Can it be any kind of question? Um, it's attempt to answer a question, and depending on the level of research and how much research you need to do, will determine how much information you need to gather. You're attempting to answer a question, whether it can be a simple yes-no question. Uh, that tends to be very short research. Um, or you're answering basically more extended questions that actually require you to actually draw on other people or to include other people or to actually go out and do original new research. In most cases, you're looking at what has already been done and then what do you need to do to, to continue or to answer the question you have. But at any point, whatever you end up doing, there has to be some original contribution you make. Okay. So you don't need to be researching for a doctorate. Oh no, we most undergraduate students have to do some research components. Okay. Virtually any essay is basically asking people to do some research. Okay. It's looking for people to go, what have other people said, but how do you turn that information into something that is originally your own? Oh. Nothing wrong with quoting what other people said, but you don't want quotes to carry the story. What you want it to be is, here's what I'm saying, and here's how other people have either supported it, or how other people have gone against it, but here's my opinion anyway, that based on what I believe and what I'm saying, and how I back that up. Okay. So, um, what's the key to good research design? Uh, good research design is finding out what question do you want to ask and what method will give you the best chance to answer that question. Most people will either look at potentially quantitative, which is what are the facts and figures that will give you the information you need. You can look at qualitative, which is what have other people said, written, and it's usually based on text, stories, or what other people have recorded, and that can be oral or written or what's called mixed method is where you combine qualitative or quantitative because what you need might be both. Okay, thank you. Um, so, another question that a lot of, uh, or problem that a lot of students ha have is, okay, I know what I want to research, but where do I look for the information that will uh, inform my research? Yeah, for most students, they basically use, or in most cases, if you have a good supervisor, a supervisor will give you a guideline or a direction on where to start looking. Um, it depends on the level of the research as well as how deep this research needs to go. Um, in some cases, it might be people just going onto the internet and just actually Googling the question and finding out what comes up. The difficulty with that is not everything on the internet is true, and a lot of what's on the internet is combinations of both what is true and probably what it would be argued as not true. Part of good research is being able to go, here's what other people have said, and then being able to draw your own conclusions from it, or be able to filter out what is good about it, or what might not be quite true. In most cases, you need what's called triangulation. You need to find three different sources, three different types of sources, or three different ways of people coming to the same question or coming up to similar ideas to support what you say. So if three other research or three other sources of information are supporting you or supporting the same idea, you probably have a potential that it's probably more on the realms of correct than if someone just basically throwing garbage out there. Okay. okay. So, last question, and uh, 
perhaps it's a, a simple question for uh, someone like yourself who is uh, involved uh, daily uh, in uh, the field of research. But how important is a research question? You have to have a question, otherwise you're just... Okay. If, without a question, you don't know what you're trying to answer. Uh, you need to know... A lot of people will have an idea, and a lot of students will come up and say, here's what I want to research. Mm. And they'll basically say, and they'll give you an idea. And we basically ask them, all right, well, what's the question that you need to ask? Mm. So we basically call it operationalize. So that's the idea. Now put it into a question that you can then go find an answer to. Um, it's not to basically say, is this product good? Uh, that's a yes, no. It's going to be a pretty short, simple. And all you're going to get is people saying how many people said yes, how many people said no. What you more likely want to do is um, how is this product better or in what ways does this product address? So you're looking at ways that get people to find a deeper answer, finding out where you need to go and read more information or where you need to go and get more information and start talking to other people or start finding other sources. You can Sources can come off a of computer, sources can come off a of magazine, re, uh, they can be journals, they can be books, they can be newspapers, they can be TV, they can be talking to other people about it. You have a wide range of sources you can get. Research doesn't need to go into a library, walk around the stacks of books just looking for book after book to find something in it. The advantage of most things being online now is you can actually go online to start sorting through a great deal of sources and start going, what will give me the direction I need to go to answer this question? Without a question to guide you, all you're doing is just basically you're, you have nothing to go on. It's, it's not a good way to start. Okay. Right. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Sexton. That, I think, uh, is very helpful and informative. And I am sure that we are going to receive some fantastic uh, research uh, essays uh, in the coming weeks. Thank you.